What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Childhood Adventures. Uh, before we begin, I just want to say that every month we have Hiker Trailer episodes coming out as we are camping and exploring the great outdoors. So that's why you haven't seen so much of me recording on the trailer. I'm going to try better on making little videos of our improvements after each camp out that we've learned and then I'll put them on this channel. So saying that, thank you for all who have subscribed so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so in this video we are going to talk about bungee cords. So today I'm going to show you what I've discovered that bungee cords can do inside my trailer. So let's check it out. Okay, so the very typical door holding bungee cord, whatever you want to call it. In the galley here I decided to make it a little bit easier. This bungee cord here is holding this um, spice rack holder. I put one on the opposite side because these propane cylinders decide to move around while we're traveling and all I do is that. Simple as that. So these things can't go anywhere, especially our little pot there. So it just holds it all simple and sweet. A little bungee cord uh, paper towel holder off of the hiker trailer engravement up there. Very nice, easy. Okay, so this next one, as you can tell, is for the curtains. I've heard a lot of people trying to come up with different roll-up um, for their curtains or how to do this and that. Well, I decided to use a bungee cord and make it look like that. So I'm going to show you how it's done on the opposite window. So this is what it looks like in the final stage. So the reason I decided to change this messy sloppy look to the more convenient clean look is because on our last camping trip my two two-year-olds decided that they were upset and they threw their hands and wrists through the opening of this window and it broke so we had to use duct tape to hold it together so the flies wouldn't eat us alive while camping in the swamps so again you learn things after you've been camping with children especially so I'm going to show you what I've done here on this window and make it a little bit easier next time you camp. Okay, so for this project, all you really need is a bungee cord and your curtains. You need to make sure that your curtains have this little hole on the bottom so you can thread the bungee cord through that. Let me show you what I did. See how long it takes me because... There's the first panel. Um, I decided to thread it through the whole thing to act as one unit. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Five minutes three minutes I don't know this is what the bottom looks like we just threaded two of them together to give this nice tight scrunchy almost look see like that so I decided that while we're sleeping to get good ventilation and things um, you can just hang them off of here Okay, so simple and sweet. This still gives you privacy at night. Let's do that. There you go. From boring windows that hang down that children can snag on and push through your window and break. If you don't want that to happen, do this. I have found some army toys hidden inside these pockets here that my children thought was really funny. So if you want to entertain your children at camp and have a beautiful look at the same time, here you go. Alright, I'm going to show you the other ones. 
Okay, well, these aren't bungee cord um, upgrades, but I have come up with a random upgrade that I use a magazine um, holder, I guess you can say. So in between the bed and the door, you have about a couple, five inches perhaps. And this fits perfectly. It just has some books in it right now. And these are our window um, shade things. So this is just a normal magazine rack. And it fits perfectly in this little hole. Everything works and has a place. And these actually fit nice and snug right here. So that's my new spot for those things. And we added a mirror. Yes, I say mirror. I'm from everywhere, so my accent kind of blends in with everybody else. Um, this thing is actually really cool. Um, it is actually a silicon kids table mat. It's flexible and it fits actually rather perfectly inside this lip here. It's not even like there's no, I guess that's a bad angle. See, it just like sits perfectly. The reason I put this here, yes, I have young children and I want to preserve wood as much as possible. Um, this basket holds like coloring books and books and toys and stuff and I don't want to scratch up the wood. Um, so I put that there and they can put snacks on it or whatever else they want. So in your hiker, if you get this little you get the closed off galley, you have this random little hole. And a lot of people I've seen put their batteries in there and such, but we don't do batteries, we do everything USB or solar. So let me close this so I can show you what I've done in this little random hole. I don't know if I can get in there as much, but see that little white box? Yep, that's what I've done. I added a random white box. All right, there you go. I added a random white box because I have no idea what I'm gonna put in there, but it adds a little security. So let me go in the galley and show you if you can see anything at all. Okay, so there's the other side of that little white box. Um, I also didn't want bugs to go into the opposite. So I might add a covering here later on or a screen but anyway there's a box right there um yeah so we might just add personal items or whatever inside so anyway again there it is down there so those are simple bungee cord friendly uh, modifications you can do and some other random stuff and if you like this video subscribe and share. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys on the next random videos. See ya!